Um, many of you are still struggling to solve literal equations, and what I mean by that is um, an assignment like rewrite equations y equals mx plus b form is solving an equation for a particular variable. And so what I want to do here is work through some of the problems on rewrite equations in y equals mx plus b form, and actually this strategy I just want to point out is going to help you on the systems of equations activity because many of the equations are not in y equals mx plus b form and you need to get them there. So if you're not graphing successfully, it's probably because you're not rewriting your equations in y equals mx plus b form successfully. If we have to solve for y in number one, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take 8x's away from both sides. Now, as I work down, um, I'm noticing that many of you are leaving behind the negative sign. The 8x minus 8x is going to make 0. And I can't combine 20 and 8x, negative 8x, because they're not like. So I'm going to write it as negative 8x plus 20. In the last step, I need to get the y alone. So I'm going to divide every piece of this equation by negative 4 to get that negative 4 out of there and wind up with y equals. Now, this is negative divided by negative. It's going to be positive 2x. I'm seeing all kinds of negatives on your responses. 20 divided by negative 4 is going to be negative 5. So this would start on a graph at negative 5 on the y-axis and have a rise over run of 2 over 1. Let me go on to number 2. Number two, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. Again, I cannot combine terms that are not like, so that's going to leave me with 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. This is a positive number. It's going to turn into a plus sign here. My next step is going to be divide every part by 3 to get this 3 times y out of there. Negative 2 thirds x plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. Hopefully you're finding your errors and where you're going wrong. In number three, I'm going to subtract two x's from both sides. Those will go bye-bye. I actually wind up with y equals negative 2x minus 11, and I'm solved for y. Good to go. Stopping there. In number four, I'm going to subtract eight x's from both sides bring down my equal sign. This is going to make 0. It's a positive 4y, negative 8x, plus 12. I'm going to divide by 4 through every component of this equation. y is equal to negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2x. 12 divided by 4 is going to give me plus 3. Number 5, the only thing I have to do to solve for y is divide every piece by 3 y equals 4 thirds x minus 27 divided by 3, which is 9. Number 6, I'm going to take x away from both sides. I'm going to be left with, don't leave it behind, negative 4y equals negative x plus 8. This is like negative 1x. I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. I think many of you are going to see you're losing negatives, and that's why you were missing these problems. Negative divided by negative is going to give me a one-fourth x. Eight divided by four is going to give me minus two. There's the end product there. Two more. Before I solve for y, I want to distribute. I'm going to distribute the two and wind up with y plus nine equals two x plus ten. In order to solve for y, the only thing I need to do then is subtract 9 from both sides. And I do have like terms. I can take 9 away from the 10. y is equal to 2x plus 10 minus 9, which is 1. Last but not least, distribute 2 thirds. y minus 1 equals 2 thirds x plus well, 2 thirds of 3 is actually just 2. This isn't that difficult of a problem. 2 thirds of 3 is 2. I'm going to add 1 to get that out of there. 2 thirds x plus 3. Boy, I sure hope this helps so you can fix this assignment up and get some credit. And also, again, remember, this is the skill relevant to the solving the systems of equation activity because you have to solve for y in order to graph these. Good luck.